Hello friends, welcome to part 2 of Arsenal history. In the first part, we have seen the formation of Arsenal club, their promotion in 1904, relegation in 1913, moving to Highbury and promotion in 1919 with so many controversies. So let's get started with part 2. Arsenal returned to first division in 1990, but it did not go as planned. Arsenal were managed by Leslie Knighton. They always finished below 9th under him. In season 1923-1924, they came close to relegation with one point difference at 19th position. And in the next season, they finished 20th, but this time there was a 7 point difference between relegation zone and them. Norris could not bear this and he fired Knighton. He appointed Herbert Chapman, a Huddersfield Town manager, as Arsenal manager in 1925. Chapman changed many things tactics, practices, drills, diet, etc. In his first season, Arsenal finished second. But for the next few seasons, Arsenal finished mid table. In that time, Chapman changed so many things, like in 1928. He added numbers to the shirts. In 1925, he changed the formation of a club to 3-2-2-3, famously known as WM. He used three center backs. He pushed full backs further onto the wings. He used passive forwards and used attacking and creative midfielder like number 10 in these days. In 1926-1927 season, Arsenal reached to the final of FA Cup. It was their first, but they lost 1-0 to Cardiff City. Chapman didn't give up. He signed so many players to fit his formation and philosophy. And he was backed by Norris for huge investments as club's economy was improved by the increased income after changing the stadium. The club was facing financial and economical issues now due to their increased income and heavy spendings becoming to known as Bank of England. One of the signings of Chapman, Alex James, a creative midfield, he actually shined under Chapman, always started the team's attacking moves and known as engine of the team. In the season 1929-1930, Arsenal reached cup final against Chapman's previous team, Huddersfield Town. They won the match and in this way they won their first FA Cup in the history. In the next season, 1930-1931, Arsenal won Division 1. It was their first league title. In that season, Arsenal scored whooping 127 goals, but one behind Aston Villa, who scored 128. In 1931-1932, Arsenal finished second, reached the final of FA Cup, but lost to Magpies. Arsenal started season 1932-1933 weekly with bad performances but went to win their second first division title. The next season 1933-1934 turned out to be an emotional roller coaster for Arsenal and their fans. Started the season very nicely with very good performances. In the January of 1934 mid-season, Herbert Chapman died due to pneumonia. He won one FA Cup and two league titles with Arsenal. In his tenure, he changed the tactics, the playing style, modernized the club, signed so many good players. In short, he changed the fortune of Arsenal. In his absence, Arsenal hired Joshua as a caretaker manager and he managed to retain the first division title, which was the third league title. In the summer of 1934, Arsenal hired new manager, George Allison, who was a former director of a club. He signed young players in that season and Arsenal completed hat-trick of league titles in 1934-1935. The success of Arsenal attracted larger crowd to see them, so that the club home ground Highbury was required to redevelop. up. Season 1935-1936 did not go well for Arsenal in the league after Hattrick. Arsenal finished 6th 
in league but managed to win FA Cup which was their second FA Cup in history. Arsenal won their fifth league title in season 1937-1938 on the final day. It was a very tight fight between Arsenal and Bulls but eventually Arsenal won the title on the last day. In the year 1939, due to Second World War, all the first-class football in Britain was suspended. Highbury, a football stadium, was turned into air rapid precautions. So Arsenal moved their home ground from Highbury to White Hart Lane, the home ground of their bitter rivals, Spurs. In the war, whatever football matches were played, they are not counted officially, but Arsenal participated in local leagues like Football League for Cup South and London League. Many Arsenal players were serving in military during the war time. Yeah, it was the year 1945 and World War II was ended. Arsenal was in big trouble. Nine Arsenal players lost their lives. Due to six years of gap, so many players were in 30s and many players' career was shorted. Arsenal Stadium was destroyed due to the bombing and they invested huge money to repair the club and it turned out to be a financial burden on Arsenal. Football resumed in 1946. In the first season after Second World War, 1946-1947, Arsenal finished 13th in the league and knocked out from FA Cup in third round. Arsenal manager Allison decided to retire from football and he was replaced by assistant coach Tom Bittaker. Fortunes changed immediately. In the same season, 1947-1948, Arsenal won their sixth first division title. Season 1948-49 went trophyless for Arsenal and they won their next title in 1949-1950 season in the form of FA Cup, which was their third in the history. Football League witnessed one of the most close fights for football Division 1 title between Arsenal and Preston North End. Both the teams ended with the same point but with the goal average, Arsenal won their 7th league title in 1952-1953. Most of the Arsenal players were in 30s and many players went to play for other more successful football club. Summing up, after the winning title in 1952-1953, Arsenal started to decline. They further declined in 1956 after Whitaker was died and because of the situation, it resulted into failure for attracting star players and mostly Arsenal finished in mid-tables. In between finishing mid-table, a wonder season struck in 1970-1971. Arsenal won Division 1 and FA Cup. It was their first double in the history. And for the next 17 years, Arsenal's journey was trophyless. So, what happened after 17 years? Did Arsenal won any trophy? We will see this in part 3. Stay tuned for part 3. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.